Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Endeavor OS. And before I get started, let me remind you, make sure you like and subscribe this video so you can be entered to win the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Now with Endeavor OS, this is what you're welcome to, whether you come up with a live USB or go into a virtual machine like me. Uh, this is the desktop that you're greeted with. You get this little message box right here that gives you the option to start the installer, install community additions, update mirrors, partition manager, troubleshoot, installation tips, latest review release info, change display, resolution. You get software news, change log, help, and see you later. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. As you can see, this is the XFC environment. Uh, it gives you the option, create a launcher, create URL link, create folder, create document. All your applications are right here. You can pull them up here. What I wanna do is, let's go to desktop settings. You, They make it simple, sweet. You get four wallpapers, that's it. You get three XFC wallpapers and then you get this Endeavor wallpaper that comes up. Uh, menus include applications menu on the desktop right click yes that's already there your basic desktop menu and windows list menu that you can make changes to and icons I guess you can make them bigger or smaller icon orientation top left vertical file launcher show icon tooltips and then your default icons I guess you could have those okay yeah that's where you put them on the desktop I don't like them on the desktop, so I'll leave that to where it's at. What I would like to do here is maybe make the panel a little bigger. Can you make it a little bigger? Let's see. Yeah, you can. Make it a little easier for everybody to see on the video. Okay, let's close out of there. Let's go see what we got over here. Uh, we got our favorites, which has got your terminal emulator, your file manager. Let's go ahead and try the terminal emulator, see if it's got HTOP installed out of the box and it doesn't and does it have top installed out of the box yes it does and it states right now I'm using about 1.5 gigabytes of RAM that's odd no 455 I'm sorry it's got a thousand in a buffer so that's pretty good that's really good actually it's only using about 455 megabytes of RAM just at idle which is decent I've had some like elementary I just looked at it uh, it was using about 1.2, 1.3 at rest, so uh, that's about 800 megabytes less. Of course, elementary has got a lot more fancier things, but uh, that's pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and close that window. Let's go over here. What file manager do we have? Just live user, and that should be Thunar. Yes, it is. Just a different look to it. Okay, let's close out of that. And there's your file manager. It comes with Thunar out of the box close that uh, you get Firefox settings manager parole media player Restretto image viewer G parted GR sync e PDF viewer pulse audio come on pulse hang in there you need to make some improvements uh, GFTP transmission Endeavor OS log tool welcome and accessibility let's go up and look at the settings manager and see just what we have appearance what can you change on appearance We've got the Arc Dark, which I'm going to stick with. Icons. You got the Arc XD icon theme. What happens if you go to the Arc XP? Uh, yeah, fonts, settings. Let's go back to all settings. Uh, desktop, file manager settings, screen saver, panel notifications, window manager, window manager tweaks, workspaces, XFC terminal settings skip window so you can come in here and make window manager tweaks here just your base settings which of course you expect with XFCE let's scroll down a little bit color profiles display keyboard removable drives power management mouse and touchpad okay let's go ahead and close out of that that was our settings uh, X that's all applications let's go with accessories Application Finder, Archive Manager, Bulk Rename, Calculator, Software Token, Screenshot, Light GMK, Task Manager. Let's look at Task Manager. See what Task Manager says we're using. 2%, 1% of the CPU. Uh, 816 megabytes of 2.9 gigabytes that I have assigned. 
that's not too bad at all. Like I said, at rest, that's pretty decent. And I've got three processors assigned to the virtual box, and I've got three gigabytes of RAM assigned to the virtual box, so that's doing pretty good. All right, let's go back over here. Development, CMake, Icon Browser, Mail, Qt Assistant, Qt Designer. Graphics, you get Restretto Image Viewer out of the box. You don't get GIMP. Graphics, you get Restretto Image Viewer out of the box. You don't get GIMP. Internet, you get Transmission, E-Links, GFTP, Firefox, Multimedia, Parole Media Player. We already went over that. Office, no Office. So pretty much if, if you need Office, you're going to have to do some downloading. You're going to have to get... If you use LibreOffice or OnlyOffice, whatever you might use there. Uh, if you use VLC, you'll have to get that. If you use GIMP, you'll have to download that. Uh, let's go ahead and try Firefox. Open that up. Next release is coming up August 27th in four more days. So I'll have to put that on my calendar so I can do a uh, review on that one. That was just a quick look at Endeavor OS. I think I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. Now, unlike uh, some other distros, this isn't a Debian-based distribution. This is actually an Arch-based distribution. So when you do download those packages, you're going to have the bleeding edge. You're going to have the newest Firefox. You're going to have the newest uh, LibreOffice. You're going to have the newest only Office. Depends on what you use Office-wise. This is an Arch-based XFCE distro. Really, with Endeavor OS, what you're looking at is really a terminal-centric Arch-based distribution. So most of that you can do from terminal. So if you're new to Linux and you're not familiar with the terminal, I would say Endeavor is probably not the OS you want to go with, but I am going to say that if you are a moderate or higher Linux user, Endeavor OS, you'll feel right at home with it, especially if you're comfortable with using the terminal for most your tasks and the things that you do. Endeavor OS is definitely one you'd want to give a shot to and take a look at. Um, very impressed with the way it looks. Um, I might keep it in my virtual machine and, and play with it every now and then. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video today. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can be entered for your chance to win the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway on August 31st, 2021. And I appreciate you watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.